let's graph these two equation on the same grid okay so the first equation is x y is equal to x over 2 plus 1 and the second equation is x over 2 minus 1 now the best way is or the easiest way is to uh, find some points and plot it so I'm going to make a column for x y y has been defined as x over 2 this is x divided by 2 x divided by 2 plus 1 so you can take any value of x and then you need to find the corresponding value of y and we write the coordinate okay so as it's divided by 2 I'm going to take uh, even numbers uh, so let's start with say negative 6 okay now before I start so let me explain in some books the same thing can be given as y is equal to half x this is same as writing half times x plus 1 or this the same thing can also be written as y is equal to half of x is same as 0.5 x so I'm showing you different ways of writing the same thing so this is x over 2 plus 1 this and this are the same and this and this are also the same so these three are different expressions so let's this means x divided by 2 so let's do without a calculator so this is negative 6 divided by 2 you should be negative 6 divided by 2 oops my pen is not working negative 6 divided by 2 plus 1 okay which is negative 3 plus 1 and negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2 so the first coordinate is negative 6 comma negative 2 when x is negative 6 y is negative 2 so let's take say negative 4 if you take negative 4 uh, negative 4 divided by 2 plus 1 I'm going slowly so that you understand so first you have to divide and then only you can add so this is negative 2 plus 1 and negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1 so what are we saying when x is negative 4 y is negative 1 okay what else so let's take say directly jump to 0 if it is 0 it is 0 divided by 2 plus 1 so 0 nothing divided by 2 is 0 so this is 0 plus 1 which is 1 so the coordinate is 0 comma 1 so let me take one more point so let's take say 4 if you take 4 it will be 4 divided by 2 plus 1 so 4 divided by 2 is 2 and 2 plus 1 is 3 so the coordinate is 4 comma 3 so let's pl plot these points first so negative 6 negative 2 is this point this point is negative 6 here always start at the origin and you're going negative 6 means from the origin you're going 6 to the left and negative 2 means you're going 2 down the first number tells you that you're going to the left or right if it's negative it's to the left and if it's positive you go to the right and the second number tells you whether you're going up or down after going left or right so this means from the origin I'd go 4 to the left and 1 down so this is the next point the next point is 0 that means you don't have to go to the right or left that means you be at 0 and you go 1 up okay and then you're going 4 to the right and 3 up okay now these these four points if you draw a dotted or if you draw a line it'll be a straight line okay so and we write the equation on top of the line so the equation of the line is y is equal to x over 2 x over 2 plus 1 so I want I would like you to pause the video and try to graph this yourself okay so let me those who have done it so I will cancel this whole thing and start with the next graph so now the equation has changed this is 
x over 2 minus 1. x over 2 minus 1. So let's start, uh, let's say, negative 4. Okay, if it's negative 4, it's negative 4 divided by 2 plus 1. So first using bed mass, you have to divide and then add. So which is negative 2 plus 1, which is negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. So when it's x is negative 4, y is negative 1. So let's say take 0, directly 0. So it will be 0 divided by 2, take away 1, or minus 1. 0 take away, 0 divided by 2 is 0, take away 1 is negative 1. So when x is 0, y is negative 1. And let's take 2. So there will be 2 divided by 2 plus, sorry, take away 1. So this is 1 minus 1, which is 0. So when x is 2, y is 0. So let's plot these points. The first point is negative 4. Oh, I made a mistake here. Okay, what's the mistake? This should be negative 1. This is negative 1, so this is also negative 1. So always good to check, okay. So this is take away 1, okay. So you have to take away 1, so this is negative 3. So this will be negative 4, negative 3. So negative 4, negative 3, this is 4 to the left and 3 down. So this is the first point. You need basically 3 or 4 points. When x is 0, y is negative 1. So this is negative 1. And when x is 2, y is 0. So this is 2 comma 0. And let's join the points with a straight line. Okay, so one thing that you can see very clearly here is I want to show you so the equation of the line is, so let me write the equation first. So this is x over 2 minus 1. So there are many things you can see here. But one thing that you should be able to see is the lines are parallel. The lines are parallel. Okay, so I want you to think how, what makes the line parallel. And if you look at this point, so let me use a, so for this point, this is passing through 1. And can you see a 1 here? And this line is passing through negative 1 here. And here you can see a negative 1 here. So there's something which affects the slopeness or the steepness of the graph. Okay, I'll come to that later, which is called gradient. So again, let me, for those who, uh, this is, if you want to write this in a different way, this is the same as writing y is equal to uh, x this is half of x times, you can also write this as half of x minus 1. Or you can also write y is equal to 0.5x minus 1. They all mean one and the same thing. So you should know different expression of the same equation. Okay, let's move on. So I would want you to do this yourself. So here the same thing, you do x, y, write the equation which is x divided by 3 plus 1 and I'll write c for coordinate so now as you're dividing by 3 I'll take numbers which can be divided by 3 that means the multiples of 3 so I'll take say negative 6 negative 3 0 and 3 and then you can use this for both uh, for this equation and this equation Again, you will find one interesting thing. These two lines would be parallel. Okay. Now, this is slightly different. Y is equal to 4 minus X and Y is equal to negative 1 minus X. So, yeah, this can be a bit tricky. So, let me write. So, you've got X. You've got Y, which is 4 take away X. And I'll write C for coordinate. So, let's start with, say, negative numbers. So, it's negative 2 negative 1, 0, and 1. So when x is negative 2, y is 4, take away negative 2. 4, take away negative 2. The taking away negative means you're adding, so this is 4 plus 2, which is 6. So 
when x is negative 2, y is 6. When it's negative 1, it is 4, take away negative 1, which is 4 plus 1, which is 5. So when x is negative 1, y is, when x is negative 1, y is 5. Okay, if it's 0, it's 4, take away 0, which is easy, which is 4. So when x is 0, y is 4. And when x is 1, so that is simple, 4 minus 1, which is 3. So it's 1, comma, 3. So let's plot it, plot the points. Negative 2, 6. So this is this point here. Okay, this is this point. Negative 1, you go 1 to the left and 5 up. Okay, and 0, that means you're not going to the right or left, and you're just going 4 up. You're going 1 to the right and 3 up. And if you join these points, you get a straight line which is sloping, which is, let me highlight this, and this is the line. So let us drag this up, down, and this is the equation. So this has called, this is sloping down from left to right. So I want you to think what makes this going down from left to right. So the equation is 4 minus x. Okay, and uh, I want you to see this point is interesting. As I told you, this is passing through 4. And can you see a 4 here? Okay, in some other books, you may have the same equation written like this. This can also be written as y is equal to negative x plus 4. Negative x plus 4 or 4 minus x are the same. Okay, so let me do the next, uh, let me highlight the whole thing and delete it. Okay, so now the equation has changed. Y is equal to uh, negative 1 take away x. So let's again start with negative 4, uh, negative 2, 0, and 2. So, yeah this would be like this. So y is negative 1 take away x. So this would be negative 1 take away negative 4. And this is where you need to be good in integers. Or if you're struggling, you can use a calculator. So this is negative 1 plus 4. Take away, taking away negative means adding. And negative 1 plus 4 is 3. Okay, so when x is negative 4, y is 3. When it's negative 2, it's negative 1, take away negative 2. So taking away negative means you're adding, which is negative 1 plus 2, which is 1. When x is negative 2, y is 1. When x is negative 2, y is 1. When it is 0, it's negative 1, take away 0 which is negative 1. So 0 comma negative 1 and for 2 it will be negative 1 take away 2 which would be negative 3. Those are struggling with uh, integers you can use a calculator there's nothing wrong in using a tool if you're struggling. So our focus is not to add or subtract integers our focus is to graph. So negative 1 3 is a point here. I'll do this faster. Negative 2, 1. And 0, comma, negative 1 is here. And 2, comma, negative 3 is here. Again, if you join these points, you'll get a straight line. Okay, so let me join the points properly. Drag it to this side, and this is a straight line. Again, can you see here, the lines are parallel. So the equation is y is equal to negative 1 take away x. And one thing that I, need, I want you to observe is it's passing through negative 1. And can you see a negative 1 here? Okay, so I want you to do uh, make up your own questions and try to do 
yourself and practice this.